Hey, it's working! Okay, now the question arises how to control its speed. Well, the speed cannot be directly controlled with the Arduino. So, there is a specific module known as L298N Bridge. Yes, with this we can easily control the speed of any DC motor. I am Fab and you are watching Expert Mind. Before I start the video, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to receive the notification about my new videos. So let's start it. Okay, so let's explain the board first. Okay, here is the L298N board, as you can see. In order to make it easy, I have given it uh, some numbers from 1 to 12 as you can see in the picture here on the first uh, is the positive terminal for the motor 1 and the second is the negative terminal for the motor these two pins are for the motor first and here these two are for the second so the number third is the positive terminal and number four is the negative terminal of the second motor here on the pipe it is the 12 uh, watt input for this board if you are using a 12 watt power supply so you will connect a positive terminal here. The sixth number is the common point, means the ground GND. Uh, connect the negative terminal here, and the seventh number is the 5P output and input. Uh, here are some cases which I will explain on the nine. So if you are using a 12 watt power supply, so you can take power from here to power your Arduino board or some other kind of board, and on the 8 here is the IC L298 IC as you can see let me focus on it got it it's the L298 NC2015178 and blah 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 let me zoom out Okay, uh, so it's uh, the IC number 8 and number 9 is the jumper. Here we come to the jumper. So if you are using a 12 watt power supply, so you don't need to remove this jumper. But if your power supply is uh, greater than 12 watts, so you will first remove this jumper. So uh, then you will provide a 5V power supply here to power this board. Here is the voltage regulator which is on the 16 number as you can see in the picture and number 10 oops 10 is missing give it okay here 11 is the e and a pin which means you can control the speed of the first motor from here this pin if you want to control the speed then remove this jumper as you can see and connect the pin to your arena board so you will control it to analog right um, 10 12 is the ENB uh, pin which means uh, this pin belongs to the second motor and if you want to control the speed then remove this jumper and connect it to the Arduino board so you will control the speed up second motor and 13 and 14 control the forward and backward motion mean clockwise and anti-clockwise motion of the DC motor while the 15 and 15 control the forward and the backward motion mean the anti-clock and clockwise motion of the second motor The 16 is the voltage regulator as I told you. Okay, if you want to zoom it, let me zoom it. Here I don't see clear. Okay, let me see it. okay it's the 78MO5 YTM14H. I don't know what's me. I think it's brand number. Number 17 is the lead here. From this lead, it will indicate you that whether your power supply is connected to the L298 module or not. If uh, the power supply is connected, then it will blink as red. And otherwise, it remains dark. I mean, it does not emit light. Okay, so that's all about the L298N. And let's see how it works.
Okay, I am going to design the circle. The circle may be a little bit different, but uh, I will try to keep it the same. Okay, the circuit is complete as I showed you in the picture. Uh, I have designed as a sim. Now I am going to give it the power. As you can see, the red light has been on. If I disconnect the power, it goes off. It means that your board is powered. Uh, now let's turn the cord. Let's verify it. Okay, no problem found. Let's load the code. Okay, as you can see here. If you can see it's rotating in clockwise direction now to set it in the anti-clockwise direction I will change the high and low like uh, the M end will be high and the M P will be negative okay, and I'll send the code again As you can see now it's rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Okay, I'm going to attach the wheel with it so you will understand it easily. Speed can be controlled by the command analog right uh, which accepts value from 0 to 255. So basically it was in the anti-clockwise direction when the NP was low and the MN was uh, high. So in anti-clockwise direction if, if I want to rotate it with the constant speed so I will just give it a simple command like analog right. Analog right. Here the M M is positive, so I will do it like M M, and the value will be like if I want 255, so 255. Okay. Now compile it. Okay, done. Nothing. Okay, program accepted and uploaded. Okay, you will observe that uh, it's rotating with the high speed. If I change the value from here, like uh, 150, 
let's see it. Okay, it's now. You will observe it. So let's decrease it much more, like hundred. Okay, now it's. Further, more 50. Okay, now as you can see, here you will observe it. Now it's rotating with the 50, and I am getting jig 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 jigs from my dynamo. Okay, have you noticed that? Um, I was giving the command in a log right without the E and A port connected and the command was accepted. The reason behind this was uh, that we were rotating the uh, motor in anti-clockwise direction. So from the command uh, if you can see that MN has high means the pipe which means that E and 2 is high so E and 2 has a positive terminal here. So we are maintaining the voltage to e, uh, the MN2. So if you want to uh, control its speed whether it is rotating in the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction then we will use the E and A port. So let's try it. Okay, pin is connected and now connect it here to but remember one thing that uh, the analog write command is accepted only in the pulse width modulation pin out so uh, if you have noticed the Arduino Mega from in Arduino Mega from 2 to 13 are the pulse width modulation pin so you can use any of it but in Arduino you know you can find the pulse modulation width with the sign like this. Okay, so let's define another pin out. Now let's put it. Okay, now it's working. As you can see. Uh, try out to uh, give the analog right value uh, maximum to 100 so your motor will rotate easily. It's the voltage problem. Okay, it's rotating in clockwise direction. Now set it to anti clockwise direction so I will go it. low and other will be high as you can see whether it's rotated in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction the speed will be 150 okay let's set it to 80 Okay. Now you will observe it that uh, the speed is to 80 so it will rotate like this as you can see. You may observe it and when it is to 255. It can be controlled through E and A port for both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction and if you want to control it in a specific direction then you don't need to connect the E and A port with your Arduino. You can easily control it and that's all about the L298N.
if you have any sort of question please drop it in the comment i will try to get you as soon as possible moreover if you watch our videos regularly drop down your name country and your message we will feature it in the next video if you like my video give it a big thumb share the video and don't forget to subscribe